Hey everyone, welcome back to Small Batch Devs. My name is Austin. And I'm Elliot. Today we're covering the brand new Firebase Auth emulator. If you enjoy this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. We would definitely appreciate it. But without any further ado, let's jump into it. So before we get started with the Firebase Off emulator, we just want to let you guys know that we actually created another video a couple months ago going over just setting up the uh, Firebase emulator in general. The, the off portion is a new feature to the emulator. So we highly recommend you watch that video first um, because this is more of an add-on to that previous video. That video shows you how to get started with the off emulator, set up the credentials and the keys that you need and we just give a brief overview of the emulator in general. So go watch that video first. We'll put a link at the top somewhere and down in the description and you'll be all good to go. But with that being said, Elliot, go ahead and tell us a little bit about what the off emulator is. Yeah, so the Firebase off emulator is pretty straightforward. It does exactly what it says. It allows us to run the Firebase off service locally on our development machines. So why would someone want to use the Firebase Auth emulator anyway? Well, if you don't use the emulator to develop locally, you might need to create a second Firebase project just to test your development so you don't mess up any of your actual production data. So running the emulators locally allows you to do that without actually creating a second Firebase project and having to switch between the two just for testing. This can be extremely important when you're trying to test pieces of your code that require authentication. This includes any authentication that you need in your client code, but it also could be any authentication that you need in your Firebase functions as well. So previously to use the Firebase emulator, you still had to connect to Firebase's remote servers for the authentication portions. But now you don't need to rely on that cloud implementation to test authentication functionality locally. Keep in mind that while we're recording this video, uh, the Firebase authentication emulator is relatively new and things like Angular Fire and maybe even the Firebase tool CLI in general, um, just anything that has to do with Firebase might not be in the final state. There still will probably be updates that need to be made, but um, this will definitely get you started and running uh, for right now, at least. So real quick, we're just going to take a look at our package.json file so that we can show you some of our versions here. And some of the important ones to take a look at are the Angular Fire we're on 10.06 and Firebase we're on 8.02. Um, Firebase UI and Firebase UI Angular. Uh, we're actually not using Firebase UI for this uh, video because we weren't able to figure out how to get this to work with the authentication emulator. So we're going to be using our custom uh, authentication page, our custom authentication UI. Um, but if we scroll down a little bit here, there is one other dependency we need to take a look at, and that is the Firebase tools. And we're on 8.16.2, and you definitely need to be on at least 8.14.0 in order to use the Firebase uh, UI, uh, the Firebase emulator for authentication. So to add Firebase off emulator to your existing Firebase project that already has the emulator set up, you're just going to rerun the Firebase init emulators command, and we'll show you that process now. If you've never run this command before, be sure to check out our other video where we show you how to set up the emulators from scratch. We'll leave that link in the description. So the first question is going to ask, are you ready to proceed knowing that we have an existing Firebase project? We're just going to hit yes. And then this is the important part right here. You want to have this authentication emulator selected. So you can see there's an asterisk in between those parentheses, and that means it's selected. So if I hit the space bar, it'll unselect it. So just make sure that's selected and then add any other emulators you may have missed the first time around and go ahead and press enter. And then you're gonna to need to download those emulators. So go ahead and hit yes for the last question. And there you go, you're all set up. So real quick, let's take a look at some of our configuration in our app.module file. Um, and as we've mentioned a few times in this episode, if you haven't watched our previous episode on setting up the Firebase emulators, it is 
pretty important because um, we actually make some changes in this file for uh, that in that episode. But the important part here for this episode is um, the providers in the providers array are provide use emulator. And the use emulator um, is coming from the Angular Fire Off library. Um, and here we're just checking if we're using the emulator environment file in that environment.stage equals 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 emulator. Um, and then if it if it does, we're setting up the uh, our, our project to look at localhost 999, which is the port that we set up in the um, CLI command for the authentication emulator. So if you change that port, you'll need to change it here as well. And this is if you're using Angular Fire. So if you're not using Angular Fire or even Angular at all, you can use the normal Firebase SDK command, use emulator, and then you'll pass in your local host and port number to point your Firebase to that emulator running on your local computer. However, you do need to put an if statement around this method because you don't want this running in your production mode. Uh, you can see here with Angular, we're using our environment files and our environment files have a property called stage that changes based on which build config we build Angular with. So if you're using a different framework, you'll have to come up with a solution for only running this use emulator command in a non-prod environment. So now we're going to run some commands to build our project and actually run the emulator. This first command here is Angular specific, because um, we're using ng, and it'll build our project using our emulator configuration. And once again, we set this up in the previous video um, on the emulator, so go check that out. Can't stress it enough. Um, so this is going to use our emulator environment variables. And it's also with that dash dash watch going to be hot reloading. So if we make changes in our code, it'll just be rebuilding our code and um, we won't have to like rebuild every time manually. So it's really great. This next command here is to just start up our Firebase emulator suite. So it's just Firebase emulators colon start. Um, and this will take a, a little bit of time and it'll spit out a bunch of useful information that we'll take a look at in a second. So the Firebase emulator command just finished running and you can see when it finishes, it will output all the ports that all of the different emulators are running on. So if you wanted to see any of your test data or add any test data, you could go to these URLs that are printed out in the console and you would see that specific emulator running in your browser. So now that all the emulators have started up, we're here on the dashboard for the Firebase emulators. And you can see we have an authentication emulator now. Um, and the status is on. So if we go check out that emulator real quick, there's some stuff we can do here. We can add the users directly from uh, this emulator uh, dashboard. Um, but that's not really fun because we can do it through our app as well, which we're going to demo next. Um, you, you can also configure some other stuff, one account per email address, whatever. Um, but now if we go ahead and check out our app, we can actually show that our app is using this authentication emulator to authenticate users or fake users or test users. Um, but it will still be extremely beneficial that we can do that for development. So the first demo is the email and password demo. And so if we just click our custom button down here, we can type in whatever email we want and whatever password we want. So one thing to note here is that you don't want to use your any real email and password combination because as you'll see later, it does show these passwords you type in uh, in plain text in the emulator. So you don't want to be using any real passwords. So if we hit sign up, it'll go ahead and create this account. And now you can see we are logged in as this email in the top right shows. So now we're going to show how you can use the third party OAuth providers in the, uh, the emulator suite. So if we use like sign in with Google, um, we get redirected. And this is, uh, if you have been following along with our episodes, we uh, typically have the sign in with pop up in our auth service. And we actually had to change that to sign in with redirect because we were getting a bunch of cores uh, related errors. But redirect works just fine. Uh, so if we go ahead and try to create a new account, we can actually hit a button that will generate some dummy data for us. So we have Peach Olive uh, 
as our name here that we're going to create an account for. And if we hit sign in with Google, it'll create our new account. As you can see in the top right, we're now logged in with peach.olive.124 at test.com. Another important note is we're actually not uh, going out to these off providers. This is strictly just running locally on your machine. Um, so yeah, that's just a, another quick note that should be made. You also don't have to have these providers, these off providers turned on in your Firebase console for them to work with your local emulator. So keep that in mind whenever you switch from testing in the emulator to a production instance, you still need to go turn those on in your off environment in the Firebase console. So we're now back in the emulator suite on the authentication page. And you can see here that we have two users now that are in our app. We have Peach Olive, which we created with the Google provider, and we have our smallbatchdevs at gmail.com that we created with the email and password. So if we go ahead and click on the small batch devs user here, we can like take a look at some of the information. We can also give it different claims, custom claims here. And as we mentioned before, the password is in plain text here, so you don't want to be adding any real passwords, but you can uh, modify the users that your app created in the uh, emulator suite here. So that's gonna wrap up our setup and demo of the new Firebase Auth emulator. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to leave a like on the video, maybe subscribe to the channel. Also maybe hit that notification bell so that you're notified whenever we post a new video. By the way, we started a podcast called the Small Batch Devs Podcast. Uh, you can find us on most of your most popular podcast apps, but we'll leave some links down below so you can easily find us. We would really appreciate it if you checked out those. Um, we just kind of chill, talk about some tech related topics and drink a little bit of whiskey. Doesn't sound like a bad time, does it? Um, but we appreciate you watching this video and we'll see you next time. Peace.